Vaccines. Cue the controversy. So to be clear, you believe that your son's autism is linked to the vaccination. If they don't vaccinate, we could have a measles outbreak and it could become an epidemic. This little beautiful baby and you pump. I mean, it looks just like it's meant for a Never course. has there been a safe vaccine. Never will Vaccines there be don't a safe cause vaccine. autism and they save millions of really lives every year. Published the peer virus reviewed is evidence. so contagious. And I want to know the truth and I'm not anti-vaccine. I want safe vaccines. Listening to the media, you can really lose your mind trying to figure out what the real deal about vaccines is. Because there's so many contradictory points. You hear people screaming all these things, you don't know what to believe. And I empathize with the person who doesn't have a great medical education to understand what's true and what's not. We're venturing out in New York City and we're gonna ask people what they think or what they believe or what they know about vaccines. To put it simply, a vaccine is the introduction of a virus or part of a virus uh, that allows your body to see it, to get used to it, to build up its defense, and be protected if the real thing does come along. What do you think about vaccinations? Uh, I don't like, believe in them. I you don't, don't believe in them? Mm -mm. How come? I, th I think there were like experiments and um, they put the, the, you know, the virus in us, so. Did your doctor try and like push you or convince you to do them? Yeah, like always, they always do that. Why, why do you think they do that? They get paid for this shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, appreciate it. Vaccines are not a blockbuster hit for doctors or pharmaceutical companies. Most of the money that's dedicated to this research goes to universities. It's as heart-wrenching as it gets, autism and children. Well, the vast majority of medical experts insist that vaccines are generally safe. You're going to stand on the stage and say that vaccines and autism are unrelated? It is the most bogus. I've seen the correlations between multiple vaccines at a very young age and autism and other problems that people have. People think, um, Autism or whatever is a risk word, of, right? that's, of yeah. That's going around. Um, Can I tell you like a little history about how the, it's really interesting? So in 1998, this guy, he was a doctor at the time. His name is Dr. Wakefield. He did this study on 12 kids, not a thousand kids, not a million kids, 12. Found that there was an increased risk of getting autism if they got vaccine. The specific vaccine, MMR vaccine, measles, mumps, and rubella. He was paid $500,000 to try and create this link because of a law company that wanted to make lawsuits, right? And this right. is only 12 kids he tested, so not like thousands or hundreds of thousands. And he found that there was an increased risk, and it was published. They took away his medical license, there was a really big deal about it. I cannot say this more clearly. There has been no association between autism and vaccination. Zero, none. If you had to convince someone that told you that despite like the best research that you've seen, that there's no link to autism, that they still believe that there's a correlation somehow. Um, I would suggest to them that having a child with autism is a lot better than having a dead child. You know what I mean? What I do empathize with you and understand is that the government telling people they have to get vaccines. Right. If you don't do it, they're not to be to registered in school. Yeah. That's a great thing to talk about because in one sense, you want to have control over your body and what treatments you partake in and what illnesses you have, that's your right to choose and all of that. But on the other hand, if you don't get immunized, you can harm other people. And the reason why you put people at risk is because not every child can get the vaccine. Not every child can be immunized. Some have a genetic deficiency in, in their immune system where vaccines don't work on them. In France, we have a, a culture pro-vaccine, but now... It I, I heard recently in France it's changing a little yeah, bit and changing. you're thinking about making it a law. The international community stands firmly with the US on this one. They believe every child should be vaccinated. And in fact, there's such a shortage of vaccines throughout the world. UNICEF says that about one child dies every 20 seconds from a disease preventable by vaccine. I heard today and I hear a lot of times from my patients that they worry that their kids are getting too many vaccines all at once or they're getting too many boosters in the first two years of life. And look, the important things to remember and what I really want to reassure you of is that that schedule is there for a reason. It's not based on a personal whim. It's not based on one person's expert opinion. It's based on data, quality studies that prove this is the best way to deliver those vaccines. I tell this over and over again to my patients, especially when I'm giving them a flu shot, that they can't get the flu from the flu shot. The reason why people start thinking that is because 
the season of when we give the flu shot is the most common time of year that people generally get colds and other viruses. Just because two things happen generally at the same time doesn't mean one of those things cause the other to happen. For those that were talking about chemicals being found in our vaccines, uh, it's true, there are small minute quantities of chemicals like for example, aluminum. Uh, that stabilize the vaccine or help prevent uh, bacterial and fungal growth. But the amount of aluminum that's found in a vaccine is less than the amount you find in baby formula or breast milk. Think about that. Just like with everything else in life, vaccines do carry some risk. However, most of these risks are fairly minor. Redness or swelling of the injection site, a mild fever, nothing serious. There are more serious complications like anaphylaxis, which is a life-threatening allergic reaction, but it happens less than one in a million cases and can be fully reversible by a healthcare professional. As a doctor, my job is to always weigh the benefits versus the risk when doing anything. You're always forced to make decisions, and a lot of the time you have to make decisions with incomplete information. But your job is to find the best incomplete information and use that to make a decision. In this case for vaccines, we may learn something new about vaccines in the coming years. We may learn that they weren't as good as we thought or there's some other adverse effects that we haven't thought of. But right now, the information that's available to you, the quality information, shows that vaccines are good. They have higher benefit than risk and they protect us. So there's no doubt, vaccinate yourself and your kids. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button now to get new videos every week.